What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we're going to be reassessing something we tried a few months back which didn't necessarily go to plan. Who remembers our first attempt at blacking out the solar green pure controls? Well over 200 of you pressed the dislike button and there was also numerous comments saying how we ruined them. No doubt it was a horror show. But the good news is that we're now going to be putting it right by making the boots into a true classy blackout through some new tricks and techniques so make sure you watch the whole video from start to finish to see just how. So previously using the blackouts kit in the first video, we found that the liquid dye was just too thin to coat the knitted material on the pure control. So now we're gonna be seeing what happens if we use a combination of fabric dye and spray paint to salvage the boots. The first problem area of the dyed pure control was the prime knit laceless region and prime cut collar. So what we'll be doing now is applying a thicker fabric dye than just a normal black liquid which we hope will actually set dark in colour and into the knit. We'll be using a bone black fabric dye and GAC 900 fabric dye medium which we mix 50-50 together into the smoothest paste possible. You can see how the two products combine after mixing together and form a thinner liquid ready to paint the knitting material. So starting at the bottom of the laceless area, we're stroking on the fabric dye which already looks much darker than before of just using the first black dye which we hope remains dark in colour after just the first coat. If the knit does need further dye then allow to dry overnight and then add a second coat. What you'll notice when using the fabric dye is that you need quite a lot as the knitting material really absorbs it quickly. So having to coat the brush happens quite regularly too. A closer look at the laceless region and we can see how the knit has become darker in colour already, especially when compared against our original attempt, so we knew we were on the right track to complete a better blackout job. Moving on to the prime cut collar and we applied the fabric dye in the same way to the prime knit by using a brush to carefully apply the solution. As mentioned, the knitting material requires a fair amount of fabric dye so making more of the solution may be required like on our pair to finish off the pull tabs and heel area. So now we've finished the entire extra coats of fabric dye above the pre-dyed knit. Here's how they look side by side next to the Pure Control boot which hasn't been fabric dyed and we can see just how well the fabric solution has worked compared to our original attempt. So here comes the exciting part as we'll now be using some spray paint to not only try this on the other boot's prime knit, however also on the sole plates to see what effect it has on the chrome coating and flaked off areas. The first important factor when spray painting your boots is to tape up where the upper meets the knitted, collared and sole plate areas to ensure the spray doesn't go onto the synthetic or leather material and affect the paint job. The best type of tape to use is called painter's tape, which is also named scotch tape and this is specifically made for use when painting as it helps prevent liquid from seeping underneath and onto unwanted areas. The best way to go about taping the boot correctly is to cut the tape into correct lengths for each area. So we're starting with taping up the exposed compression knit at the laceless region to ensure the spray doesn't go onto the primary upper and the trick is to get it as close as possible to the two materials meeting. Next up we're taping the prime cut collar as this will also be spray painted for a full blackout. Smaller pieces of tape are best around collared areas and also around the bottom of the laceless region for a quality finish. So now we've taped around the prime knit and prime cut collar ready for the spray painting. We'll now do the same at the sole plate by closely applying the tape onto the upper and up to the sole plate as close and neat as possible. Boots without an external heel counter will prove easier than the pure control as you'll need either to cut out smaller pieces or partially bend the tape into position as we've done here. 
Now the required areas have been taped, just give it a final press down to help ensure the spray paint doesn't seep underneath onto the upper. And we've also done this on our fabric dyed pure control, ready to have its sole plate sprayed too. Ensuring the boots are bone dry, we're now ready to spray paint the boots and the product we have isn't anything special, just your standard metallic black spray paint. A good idea would be to wear some gloves and also lay some cardboard or paper underneath the boot surface as we found the grass was sprayed too. We're starting by spraying the knitted laceless region and you can see just how well it works at making the material completely black in just seconds. Don't overly apply the spray paint as it can get quite drippy and become runny which leaves marks after fully drying. Holding the spray can about 15 centimeters away is the ideal distance and also using even strokes for the larger areas. However, for more detailed areas like the prime cut collar and pull tabs, we got closer and used smaller pumps of the spray. Now the knitting material is fully sprayed, we're now moving onto the sole plate and just like before, we're holding the can about 15 centimeters away to start with to coat the majority of the outsole and then closer for smaller pumps around the studs, toe box and mist areas. Just make sure to coat every section for a full blackout look. Completed the spray paint section, you'll need to leave the boots for several hours to fully dry. Back onto the table to finish off the boots and before some on feet looks and testing, we can see just how classy the sole plate looks after being spray painted as it's given a premium matte finish, including some intricate metallic detailing we didn't think would happen. The next part involves removing the tape slowly and smoothly to help stop the upper's black dye from pulling or chipping away. However, as you can see that the tape has already left a faint blue color in certain areas, which may be a layer of dye being taken off. Taking off the tape has also made those specific areas more glossy than the other parts of the upper, which is due to the final layer of finish we coated the boots in when first blacking them out. So to create an all out matte finish, you can apply the liquid once again. There's definitely some solar green touches around the sole plate which didn't receive the spray paint treatment and shows how important it is to be neat when applying the tape, so take your time when doing this. So now moving on to the boot which received the spray paint of both its sole plate and also the knitted laceless region. And the metallic finish has also been added to the prime knit material which actually looks pretty interesting rather than a solid black finish. However, the feel is definitely stiffer than what its original state was, which will affect the compressive fit. Again, remove the tape slowly and smoothly. Interestingly, after spraying the knit, you can still see the small circle near the bottom of the laceless region, where we first poured the black dye onto the boot, which has remained more prominent than the rest of the boot. So in one hand, we have the newly blacked out boot and also the solely yellow pure control. Which colorway do you prefer? I personally actually prefer the matte finish seen on the sole plate compared to the flaky chrome effect. However, does the spray paint coating survive better than added acid metallic finish? Let's find out in some on feet sections. Well, here's how the boots look on feet compared to the solar yellow colorway. And even if you prefer the bright color paint job, you have to agree that the new coating of fabric dye and spray paint has taken our first blackout job to much better levels. Even after moving around in the blacked out boots on the 3G surface, the spray paint coating looks to be holding up pretty well with no flaking at all. We're currently blacking out the Magista Obra 2 with our new techniques, which proves our biggest ever blackout to date. And once finished, we'll take them out for a full test to see how the spray paint and fabric dye last. Overall, the newly added fabric dye and spray paint has actually worked really well on either boot. If you want to black out a boot which remains black for a longer period of time and retains its soft feel, then spend some extra time fabric dyeing the boots. However, if you want a quick fix, then spray painting the knitted areas and sole plate is the way to go as it literally only takes seconds. Just bear in mind that the knitting materials become more stiff as seen in the video. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned some new techniques. Let us know what you think and if we should give the Magista Obra 2s a full test after blacking them out in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Cheers.